Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Joffy's VIP Room. I'm your host, of course, Joffy. Let's go ahead and get into this real quick. So I'm tired to the party again. I've been wanting to put this video out, but, you know, life as an actor, things can kind of, you know, take you away from everything there now and then. So let's talk about this. Episode 5 of The Last of Us. I did episode 4. I uploaded it on my Instagram because I just wanted to try something different to see how many people tune in. Great result. I love that everybody enjoyed it. But let's get back to basics. Let's get back to uploading these videos on YouTube because I need to come in with the views. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about it. So after episode 3, which was one of my least favorite, go look at the other video why it is my least favorite. Just look at the video. Don't come at me with all that. Just just listen to me, okay? So, as I digress, episode four, man, it was the right step in the right direction. And, and they haven't taken the right step in the right direction. They differentiate from the game every now and then. They feel like it was, if it needed to be, and I understand, I get that. But don't venture too far off because, you know, us fans, you know, we really want to enjoy, you know, what we played over the years because this game is so near and dear to our heart. So, episode four came through, just had a blast, loved it. And these viewers are... It's climbing up after each week, after every episode drop. I love to see it. So let's get into episode five. Episode five, man. This was when Sam and Henry comes into play. They made an appearance at the end of episode four. Cool. Loved it. Hey, it is, you know, I loved it. Now, they get more time with these characters in episode five. And I love that. You seeing from, you're watching from, Sam and Henry's perspective of what's going on. You see Joel out there killing the people that's trying to kill him and everything that's in Kansas. Yeah, they're in Kansas right now. But, you know, at the end of the episode, they leave Kansas. So right now, they're in the storyline with Henry and Sam, just like on the first game. And to be honest with you, so spoilers as well, if you have not played the game or if you have not watched the series, where you been at? Go watch it. It's a great episode. So, spoilers. So pretty much what happened will take place. You get a chance to spend a little bit of time with Henry and Sam. And I love that. It was really great. And they changed some things. Like I said, you know, every now and then you're going to change something. And they changed something with uh, Sam. I think that's his, his, the brother's, yeah, the younger brother's name. I'm sorry. Getting a little bit mixed up. And I like what they did, to be honest with you. Most people are like, eh. But I like what they did because they made him deaf. OK, so you have to use sign language. I, I need to work on my sign language anyway. I need to learn some type of language, build up my skill set. But, yeah, they had him do sign language. And what I loved about that is that when viewers and when people are looking at, you know, are trying to zoom in, and that's really what it was. When you're doing sign language, it brings you more into this character. So you're like, and then you're like reading. And then, but you're also paying attention to this character. This, his character because he's being more expressive with how he feels and that's how you really hook the audience and i loved it i loved it it really got me more engaged into this character even though i know what the final result was going to be um but you never know because i said sometimes they might differentiate with the game and everything but what happened happened what took place what took place so sammy henry you know they link up with joel and ellie they, they pretty much uh Henry gives his whole spill about, you know, I'm not violent. I'm not this type of person. I'm not dangerous. I'm, I'm a rat, all that stuff. The most dangerous thing I've done is pulled this gun out on you, Joel, or whatever. So Joel kind of like, you know, because I believe because of Ellie in this part of the series, Joel would have, Joel, Joel survived because of the, when they first met Henry and Sam. Because I have, you know, Joel is that, I'm not taking any prisoners. That that's a wrap. If I get my opportunity, that's it. <laughs> because Joel is just that dangerous man. Joel is that guy. But Ellie, you know, she spoke, calmed Joel down or whatever, said a few things, and then they were ap actually able to come together and you know be cool, and everything was good. So after that, you know, you still got you know, what's that lady name? Not Karen. I forgot her name already. Um, the lady who is the leader of this rebel group inside Kansas, I can't think of her name right now, um, but she was able to, she's pretty much look out to look for Joel and out to look for Henry and Sam because, you know, the brother died because, you know, people got killed that she was very close to. The only thing she said it was her brother, I believe. And, um, but, you know, pretty much, you know, Sam and Henry had to do what Sam and Henry had to do in order to survive, and she's hot on their trail. Also looking for Joel, because Joel killed, you know, I think Joel killed her brother. I gotta go back and watch the episode. Watch it. 
really good episode. So they're off to the races trying to find them. And earlier within the episode, Henry says that all the infected are underground. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, which is the same type of underground where they want to go under, like the tunnels to get out of the city. So you're like, so I'm just like, I'm with Joe. I'm like, you you don't have this, what is this plan that you're talking about, bro? You want me going into the tunnels and you tell me it's, it's infected underneath, you know, the concrete and all that. Like, nah, bro, I don't know about that. But you got to take a chance. So they took a chance, went through the tunnels. And Ellie and Sam, they're building up that relationship because, you know, Ellie doesn't really have any too many kids to play with. So you start to see the sweet Ellie. And as, you know, see this Ellie, you know, really, she's really starting to come to the character. A lot of people say they didn't like Ellie's character. I love Ellie's character. They're doing it just how it is in the game. It took time for Ellie and Joel to break down these walls with each other to be cool with each other and to trust each other. And they're doing it right at the right time. So... I love what they're doing. Great, great writing. The relationship is building. I love it. Their trust is building. Love it. So they make it out of the city and they're at this one part of the game where they did change the daytime. It was on the game, it was daytime. On on this one, um, it's night fall. So they make it out of the city, and here comes old uh, Miss Karen. I don't I can't think of her name right now. I think it was Kareen Casey. Some with a K. The lady who was on um, Two and a Half Men, who was head over heels for Charlie Sheen character. I can't think of her name right there. It's Sunday, people. Don't mind me. So, anyways, they're hot on their trails now. Joel is getting sniped at like it is in the game. At this certain point in the area in the game, he gets sniped at. Joel sneaks around, gets the upper hand. That guy was actually, you know, in an informant telling Miss Crazy Lady, hey, you know, He's supposed to keep an eye on him. So Joe sneaks around, get into there, boom, takes the guy out. He got a sniper rifle. He's telling, he's pretty much trying to tell now Ellie, Sam, and Henry to run. We need y'all to run. And everything in this episode was beautifully, you know, done. And now here we are at the last, well, almost second to last scene, uh, where she's getting ready to take out Sam and Henry, getting ready to kill them because of what they did. And here it comes because of a video of because of a vehicle car that went crashing into the building, exploded. Here comes the infected. There were no infected throughout the whole scene, throughout the whole episode. Here they come. And boy, did they come out of that ground. I had to finish that full sentence because that wouldn't sound right if I didn't finish it. <laughs> boy, did they come out of that ground. Hundreds, I don't know how many, but it was thousands of them. They went in on that crazy lady, Karen, and her team. Everybody's getting ripped apart. And then here comes the bloater. The bloater went ham. The, the, the limited amount of time that the bloater was on there, the bloater, that was it. It was a wrap. To come through smashing people, throwing people around, kicking them, whatever a blo- bloater does, that's what the bloater did. It didn't throw out the little spore thing, though. I was kind of looking for him to throw that projectile to see what happens. I want to see that. Maybe later on in the season we might see that. Would love to see that. But, yeah, boy, bloater did that fatality to the guy who played as the, the voice actor of uh, Joe's brother. Um, why am I messing up these names right now? Goodness gracious. I'm on my game today. Um, pretty much the voice actor who Tommy, there we go, got that name right. The voice uh, actor who plays as Tommy in the real game was the guy who played as Percy in this series. The guy, military guy, had the long gray hair, pretty much Karen's right hand man, long gray hair, beard, military stuff. Yeah, that's Tommy in the game, he does voiceover. Bloater got to hold him, and he sent them off right. Fatality. You know, in the game, when the bloater grabs your face, rips it apart. Yeah, that was rap. That was rap, and it was beautifully done executed. Yeesh, it was brutal, too. But as I digress, you know, they, Joel, Ellie, Sam, and Henry make it through that onslaught, of course, because, you know, got to progress through the story. And then what happens is the most heartbreaking thing that you see in, in the game, as well as in the TV series. And I knew it was coming, but like I said, sometimes they might differentiate from the game. But the way how they did it was so heartbreaking. And I was like, oh man, it's ripped my heart out, man. 
And, you know, Ellie tries to help out, help him out. She cuts her hand, says, my blood is my is medicine, explains it to him. Shows him that he got, she got bit and everything. She put it on his wound because Sam got bit on the leg. Sam is crying and everything because, you know, he's just like, he's scared and you feel it. And it was, a, it was beautifully done. You just have to watch it. If you didn't watch it, I don't know what's going on with you. So that being said, cut to the next morning. Ellie wakes up and Sam is sitting on the edge of bed. He's not moving or nothing. Ellie goes to check. He's infected. They run out of the room. And then what happens, happens. Joel tries to go for the gun and save Ellie. Sam gets the gun before him, shoots his brother. And that acting was so well done. It broke my heart. Where I, was, I think I teared up a little bit. I like, got a little misty out right there. Even though I saw what happened in the game, like I said, you just don't know what's going to happen. And, yeah, after that, uh, Henry, you know, that was a wrap for him. If you've seen the game, you know what happens. If you saw TV, if you want to watch TV series, you'll see what happens. But um, and then, of course, you know, they bury both of them. And Joel and Ellie bury both of them. And it's a real great turning point for Joel because you can see bits and pieces throughout the, the TV series of how he's starting to warm up to Ellie, how they warm up to each other. And you can tell that Joel was like, oh, man, I do not want this to me, me and Ellie's fate. So, yeah, man, um, like I said, Episode well executed, love it, beautiful. They were smart too. I love that it was a well surprise, great surprise, and and having it drop on this past Friday instead of today, which is Super Bowl Sunday. Smart choice, but yeah, best episode so far. I want you guys right now in the comments below. We're we'll starting episode five. Um, all the other episodes, the full season so far. We got four more episodes left for the last of us. I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what they're gonna do. It's been so far so with that being said thank you for joining the office vip room like share comment and subscribe i'm about to go watch i'm about to watch the game i'm hungry i'm, I'm very hungry right now i'll see you next time